Hello, everybody. Welcome to part two of the Jersey Devil. If you hear grumblings outside of my window, it's not the Jersey Devil. It's not the Georgia Devil. They're, they literally just tore down a restaurant that used to be beside me, and they're about to build high rises, which who in the world can afford high rises right now? I don't know. But that's what's happening. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about it. I hope hopefully the sound won't come through with the microphone that much. But I'm really excited today. Of course, I got one of my besties here, Stephanie. This is going to be a fun episode. Uh, you know, I think a lot of this folklore that we talk about, it, it kind of gives us a different perspective now that we're in this great awakening of, of what um, the, this folklore, these legends really come from, because where there's smoke, there's fire. And Stephanie, you're close to New Jersey. So before we get into the unfortunately. show, I hate New Jersey. I hate it so much. I have a little bit of family in Jersey and I hate it. I hate Newark, New Jersey. If you live in New Jersey, God bless your heart. <laughs> let, let me tell you, the new, the real housewives of New Jersey are, is my, one of my favorite franchises. And we talked about this last time with Emmy. I love the housewife franchises because it does relax your brain. And I know it's all fake. You know, I know that the, the storylines they play with are kind of exaggerated. So you can kind of indulge a little bit. But the New Jersey Housewives, those women can fight. Like, oh, us are, in New England, like, don't mess with a New England, like, female. Because we, we get feisty. They we are get feisty. really, really feisty. And from what I understand, I don't know if it's true or not. From what I understand, though, they're one of the only franchises where most of the women are Mr. T supporters. Which is interesting. Really? A lot of them are Republicans. Oh. Very see, I don't know anything about any of that. I just think that's interesting because we see celebrities kind of following the narrative, but I know that a lot of them are actually um, Mr. T supporters. That's interesting. It is interesting, isn't it? Especially with Jersey because Jersey is like fully liberal. Maybe that's why. Sure. Maybe they've seen the, the worst of the worst yeah. and trying to course correct their state. Well, before I, I'm going to read an, an email that one of our viewers sent us about her experience with the Jersey Devil. But Stephanie, what do you know about the Jersey Devil? Because, I know nothing. Okay. I know nothing. Well, actually, that's, that's better because when I ask these questions, it's better that you don't know a whole lot, right? Mm hmm. Because that gives you, but before we get started, I am going to read this, this story quickly from a subscriber here. She gave me permission to use her real name, which is Dolores, but she goes by Lori. So I'm just going to read this email to you guys. Uh, good morning. My name is Dolores and I lived in Homerstown, New Jersey during the late eighties population 27. Oh my goodness. I think that's smaller than where you live. Is it at 70? Yeah. By a lot. What the fuck? 27 yeah. people. No street lights in a 160 year old house on the back of a relative's property at the crossroads of 537 and 539 on the north top of the pine lens. Yes, yes, yes. The Jersey devil is real and his eyes are yellowish maroon. He smells like a musty animal. And by the sound of his steps, he would be large with no lighting and a quarter moon. It is quite scary and dark during the night. I was a 26 year old single mom with a one year old and an eight year old daughter alone in a damp mildew smelling home. It was about 9 PM. Just as we were getting ready to go upstairs to sleep, I heard something walking up with heavy footsteps and looked out of the old window behind the sofa. Very scary eyes looked back at me in the face, even though I'm used to paranormal shit. Lori, this, I would have crapped my pants. All right. This is where fight or flight kicks in. I grabbed Amanda by the top of her feet pajamas and grabbed Michelle by her skinny arm and took off almost flying up the old staircase and threw the baby on the bed. And then my daughter on top of her. Then I laid on top of them both like a crab cupping them with my body in less than 30 seconds. I could feel his presence in my second story window, which would make him tall because I didn't hear any flapping wings. I was almost frozen from fear, but I had to protect the children. So I yelled at him, go away, whoever you are, go away and don't hurt my babies. And he went away. Next morning, I told the lady down the road and she said laughingly, ha ha, you met the Jersey devil. He wouldn't hurt you. He just likes to play games. Not funny. If I were an older person, I might've had a heart attack from listening to what you have said on esoteric Atlanta. I believe he left because I did not fold up from fear. And most importantly, I told him to go away. I know he is not from plum Island, which is something we're going to get into because that's what we spoke about last week. He is real. 
and he is born from evil. But I think he just needs to find the light because there is good in there as well. He got a bad deal. His mother really did this. This is a true story. It will be etched in my brain forever. So Dolores, and again, you said your friends call you Lori. Thank you so much for sharing that story with us. Um, if anybody else has any stories from the Jersey Devil, please email them to me at esotericatlanta at gmail.com. I absolutely do believe in these mystical creatures that live. I mean, next week we're going to be talking about the Georgia werewolf. I mean, which is a story we're going to revisit from this channel. I mean, I do believe that there is truth to Same. stories. I'll tell my story really quick. And I don't know what this was. I, oh, it's eleven eleven, by the way, on the clock. Um, <laughs> God but I remember it was right before I came down to Georgia and Tennessee, it's probably a week before I left. And I was taking my dog out at three in the morning when the veil is very thin. And I heard rustling in the trees and you've been to my house. There's, there's a lot of trees around me. And all of a sudden there was this screech right there in the woods and it was directed toward me. I felt it. I knew he was trying to, frightened me, whatever the hell it was. And let me tell you, it was not a, it was not a regular animal. There was no way it could have been, it was not a, it was not a coyote. Cause I know coyotes can sound, coyotes can sound like babies crying. Yeah. Yeah, they can. Yeah. They're really weird. Um, it wasn't any other animal. It wasn't a fish or cat. Cause those can have a weird sound too. Cause I've heard all these animals before. Cause I've lived, you know, neat close by woods. This was, I can't even describe it. The shriek. I never, I never felt so scared in my life. I nearly pissed myself. Took my dog. My dog was like really, really frightened too. And we ran inside. I could hardly get the door opened and shut fast enough. I get in the house and I'm like, oh my God, what was that? What the heck? And I couldn't like, come out of breathing so heavy. I was like, so right. And I'm like, Your and I still having like crazy. Huh? Your heart's like pounding like crazy. Holy it's crap. Like pop, popping the out thing is, I, every night I tell my dog, she'll go to like drink more water. I'm like, ah, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Cause I'm not bringing you out three o'clock in the morning. I'm just not doing that. <laughs> You're going to have to hold it sister. You're just going to have to I hold have it. a little bit of post-traumatic stress from that one little night. Well, I actually have some, some, we can, because this is my thing. Well, first of all, when we get to the cards, and I do believe the Jersey Devil is real, and I believe Lori's story, but we have to start from the beginning. So can we ask the cards just to verify with the cards? And again, guys, take all of this with a grain of salt. It's all divination tools. We've talked about this before. Will Spirit, through the cards, tell us if, I guess the question, is the Jersey Devil real? I believe it is 100%. I know Stephanie does too, but we got to start at the beginning before we start to unwind what we can get from this mystical creature that s tends to haunt Jersey, the pine lands of Jersey, which we're going to get to too in our questioning because that's interesting. If you watched part one, you'll know why we're going to talk about the pine lands too. I feel like he's an interdimensional being and absolutely 100% real because we have 10 of pentacles, which is real as real gets. Cause that's physical matter along with the strength card. Sorry. I'm like, I'm shaking. I did the, I did the craziest workout of my life this morning. And I'm like, eh. and now we're talking about things that we don't understand on our third density plane. So you're <laughs> welcome then, guys. You're welcome. I we're have the magician card, world. which tells me interdimensional and possibly female energy. Okay. So that was going to be one of my questions. Um, when we're trying to figure out, First, I want to try to figure out what this entity is, and then we're going to try to figure out where the legend came from. And the female, okay, so the female is either going to be the Jersey Devil or could be related to his mother, which we're going to get to, which she spoke about in that email. Now, I have a question. Now, my next question, is there more than one Jersey Devil? With the Ten of Pentacles I was actually getting, there's probably more than one, but let's go. And the reason why I ask that, guys, is because this story allegedly is 250 years old. Now, that doesn't mean that an entity can't live 250 years, but I just kind of have the idea maybe there's more than one. Just like there's more than one Bigfoot. Uh, 
and the sun card so that's a yes um i'm actually getting there might be two different types of them so one is probably on the negative like likes to mess with you very highly intelligent the other one more like a bigfoot um they do look like there is little youngsters possibly with the page oh there's a jersey devil family <laughs> There's some babies. And then we have this card. They are in hiding for most of the time, I feel like. Um, and they, it's like they um, they just remove themselves from the population. They, they like probably migrate possibly or weave interdimensionally. Um, they can be protective. And um, what are they waiting for? I got this on the bottom. What are they waiting for? I don't know. That could be another question. Let's ask, what are they waiting for? Because now I'm thinking, are they good? Are they bad? Are they both? Are they like human beings where we're both? Well, they could be like some of the deities too that can play on both sides of the fence. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, we got, so if the Jersey Devil is listening, I expect a Christmas card from your family this year. I want to see all your cute little babies in the picture. Oh my God, Bryce. <laughs> Can you imagine how cute the little card? I'm expecting a Christmas card. You're asking the Jersey Devil to give you a Mithra celebration card. Why not? Why not? Well, welcome to the new timeline. <laughs> and it goes for Bigfoot and the little fairies and the little dragons. <laughs> Supercabra, and let's just, I'll just send me your Christmas cards. We'll display. I expect the leprechauns to meet me on St. Patty's Day and leave me a pot of gold. You know, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> all right what are they waiting for what are they waiting for what are these jersey devils waiting for hmm well they're waiting for a lot of change i feel like they're kind of yeah, they've been hiding in hibernation almost, but they're waiting for change to come. And it does look like they're probably waiting on unity, probably with humans, right? Humanity to wake up, wake up, right? Um, and start to help one another. So maybe they're actually good and they're, they're waiting to um, come out kind of like the rest of everything is. So that was one of my questions. If, if they are waiting, if, if they don't, you know, we know, so I'll go ahead and say some of the, uh, when uh, if people experience the Jersey Devil, they have their farms raided, they kill their crops and animals. Okay, so can we ask the cards, are the Jersey Devils, for the most part, are they polarized positive or negative? How can we ask the cards that? Are they, will the cards- Oh, I can, I can figure it out by what cards I get. So if I get like the Devil card, for instance- that negative. might be polarized negative. Now, if I get a mixture, then they're like humans. I mean, if they're in this third density realm, would not shock me, just like with anything else. I mean, you got bad Palladians. I mean, very few oh, of yeah. them, but they're, I mean, anything I think has the capability of polarizing either way, regardless. Yeah, absolutely. It's self choice, it's the soul's choice. All right, so are the Jersey Devils polarized negative or positive? Or both? This is very interesting. Oh, they're absolutely positive. Real. They're absolutely Real. positive. The thing is, due to the polarity <coughs> of, of um, so due to the, not polarity, due to the duality of 3D, the 3D realm and due to materialism and due to possibly humans doing experiments on, you know, the, the powers that be do certain experiments. It's like they've been in a bunch of confusion and they've kind of been like, I feel like that's, that's probably where they get playing games with because they're in a state of confusion. It's like, they don't realize they're scaring humans, but at the same time, they're like just having a load of fun. Are they afraid of humans? Do we freak them out? Like if they come through from a different dimension, 
do they see humans and get freaked out? I don't think they're getting freaked out. I think they're confused about their role interdwelling with the human species. That's kind of what I'm getting because um, this is confusion, right? Right. Um, they, they do want to show love. And I think that when the time comes, um, that will come through actually rather quickly and they're going to become quite attached to the human species. Like oh, kind of like we're that. a bunch of teddy bears. It's like the Bigfoot loves us. Well, let me ask this. Are these, in our, Oh, sorry. We got more. I'm so excited. I'm like, Oh, the Jersey have this strength <laughs> card with the lovers card. So they're actually loving. They're just, what I'm getting is they're just extremely misunderstood and they're just, they have their guard up. That's all. They just have their guard up. Well, and they're kind of ugly from what I have seen of it, what people have sketched there. It's not, I don't want to say ugly. I just want to say it's not a species that we're used to seeing as humans. And so now, now can I ask this question? Are these entities that were created here on the earth plane or are they like extraterrestrial? Are they a breed of terrestrials? So what I'm going to be looking for is, um, they're extraterrestrials. I'm looking for a few different types of cards. If they are more earth beings, I'm looking for more pentacles. Okay. Cause that's so, going to the legend, which we're going to get to in a minute. Okay. So is the New Jersey devil an off worlder interdimensional being or an earthling with a bad rap? <laughs> this is interesting. They're absolutely off-worlder. Um, in addition to that, I think they got lost on this planet. Same. Same. I was supposed <laughs> to go to Venus. I think they're just, they're in a total, oh, absolutely off-worlder. Okay. So I have the hermit card. This oftentimes will come off, come off as off-worlder to me. But what I'm also getting from this is they're actually hermits as well. And they're in a state of confusion. And I feel like they, might, they must have traveled here and just probably are in a very sed sedative state due to this, this um, confusion. And the density of Earth probably. And they, and they had to change because of it. Like there was a change that occurred. And again, we have the chariot card. Again, that's like off-world or energy. And it's, I'm getting they traveled here. So they have to be off world -er. Okay, so is the pine land. So I'm going to go ahead. What I said in part one, in case you missed part one, if you missed it, I'll put the link down in the description box below. So the New Jersey pine lands is the, over a million acres of farms and forests and wetlands. It covers seven different New Jersey counties, 56 communities, and um, 700,000 residents, including the Jersey Devil. Now, the pine lands was created as the United States Biosphere Reserve in 1978 and was established by Congress as the first country's first national reserve. Huge red flags, right? So when we know- Big, giant red flag. When the government comes in and puts a stake on the land and says it's ours now, there's, some, there's something suspicious, right? So first question for the cards. Is the Jersey pine lands a portal? Is there a portal there? That's a good question because I was actually going to go and ask that. Anytime the government does something, I think portal. Yeah, there's something there they want to control. They either want to learn it for themselves or control it so other people can't have access to it. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, so yeah. wands with the temperance card. I mean, that's a no brain. I barely had full cards. That's a fucking portal. Yeah. So this is, I, we're going to assume then in speculation with the cards that that's how the Jersey Devil came through. It's a good portal, by the way. That's why it made a wrong turn. It went through the portal. Um, can we ask why then does the Jersey Devil only stay in this one particular area of the Pinelands? Why hasn't it ventured outside of the Pinelands of New Jersey? Because I'm outside of New Jersey. <laughs> Unless it has, and other communities are calling it something else by a different name, not realizing it's the same thing. Feeling, but we could be wrong on that. Okay. Um, let's see. Why hasn't the New Jersey devil gone outside of New Jersey? I feel bad. I mean, you're trapped in New Jersey. What the heck is wrong with you? <laughs> I really hate New Jersey. I have a couple more questions regarding that. Seeing on, depending on what the cards say. 
you drove through New Jersey to get here. What was your what was your vibe on that? Well, I was only on the turnpike, which hello, most expensive highway in the world. Yeah, probably. 20 bucks, 20 dollars for the damn toll. I know. And I was very weirded out over the fact that I could not pump my own gas. That really weirded me out. Yeah, they do the same thing in a lot of Massachusetts areas like Worcester. 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 Listen, Southern girls, we pump our own gas. I pump my own gas. I don't know where the oil lives in the car, but I pump, I don't even know how to pop the top of my car. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> but I can pump my own gas. Oh, no, I'm going to have to teach you that. that. That I do know. I actually know a lot about cars. I dated some mechanics. I'm just like, where does the oil live? I don't know. I just look at the little thingy on my dad. Yeah, when I got into the South, I, I bought some extra oil and put it in my, my thing because I was a little overdue. <laughs> I can put air in my tires and I can pop my gas. Everything else, no idea. <laughs> All right. I was asking, why has the Jersey Devil not left New Jersey? New Jersey. Unless he Jersey. just really likes, you know, the Italian food. I don't know. I mean... But I have actually it's a very policy. Italian in Jersey. Very Italian. Go to Newark. That's actually where the Sopranos take place in Newark, New Jersey. That was, that was a great show. Um, hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, maybe they ha again, maybe they are leaving the Pinelands and other state, uh, states and areas are just calling it something different, not realizing it's the same thing. I think they were granted that little area specifically. Um, has something to do with the portal. It's like they started a new life there and it's like, oh, they might actually be protecting that area. So it's like the government is using them to protect that portal. And I feel like they do have some sort of offering that they were given, like a deal. Are they on protecting that portal from the government? Is that why they haven't left? Because then the government went and claimed it. Are they actually. Let's ask. Let's ask. For the betterment of humanity. And maybe that's why. Because I have another question after this that might, might explain why they look the way they like. Why maybe they scare people by their looks. A big foot. Protecting the portal from the government, or is the government using them? Jersey Devil, not Bigfoot. Oh, Bigfoot. Did I say Bigfoot? It's like the other day when I said Plum Island, I said Block, Block Island, Island twice. People are Block Island, like, wait a minute, my island's bad. No, if anybody has an opportunity to go to Block Island, I highly suggest it. It's a really tiny island, but oh my God, the mulch padding there. You gotta go to. Uh, you got to get the gelato, the Italian gelato, and uh, Aldo's for a nice Italian meal. Great. They deliver donuts and bagels right out in the Great Salt Pond if you rent a mooring there for the boat. Yeah. I, I, like forgot both, what I like both donuts and bagels. I had a bagel this morning. I've had no breakfast yet. I did an extreme workout. That's what I did so far. <laughs> and drank my coffee. Coffee. No coffee, All no right. prana. That's what my teacher used to say. No coffee, no prana. Oh, I got plenty of prana. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me pee every five minutes. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. That's your body detail. TMI, I understand. TMI. Okay, let's see. Why is Bigfoot protecting the portal? Jersey Devil. <laughs> We love our Bigfoot too. I just think it's awesome. I'm still waking up. Bigfoot <laughs> thinks that we're cute. Like, I think that's amazing that Bigfoot thinks we're like cute little puppies. I'm going to actually go with they are protecting it from the government. Okay. Here's my next question. And I wasn't even planning on asking this, but something just told me to ask this. Are they shapeshifters? Are the Jersey Devils shapeshifters? Like, could they be in human form and then go into a Jersey Devil form? Oh, that would be so cool. I, I mean, know what I'm going to be for Halloween. <laughs> I'll just dress up as me and be like, I'm a Jersey Devil. I'm the shapeshifter. No. Um, but we know, I mean, we know that most off-worlders 
are humanoid in the fact that they have arms and they have bodies like we do. And I know from people who've experienced um, Palladians, they'll say that Palladians very much look like us until you look in their eyes. And once you look in their eyes, you know, there's something different. But if you just pass them on the street, you would never know that they were not from this, this realm. Um, and so I just, something just hit me like, are the Jersey devils actually shapeshifters? And they, during the day, maybe appear to be humans working at the grocery store, or the gas station, but they can shift because they're off worlders. They can shift into these forms when they need to, for whatever purpose they have to do in order to protect that portal or that land. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I feel like not all of them are, I feel like some of them are, and some of them are not. I think it depends on their vibrational frequency is what I'm kind of getting. So then let's ask the cards this. Can the ones that are able to shapeshift, are they able to shapeshift into what would appear to be a human being or an earthling or an animal? Just let's we'll say earthling because animals from this earth are earthlings too. So it could be that they can change into a deer if they need to. Okay. I almost called it Bigfoot in my head again. <laughs> Apparently, my soul wants to meet Bigfoot. <laughs> Love our Bigfoot, too. All right. New Jersey Devil. New Jersey Devil. Dr drill it in my head. Okay. Um, can they shapeshift into Earthlings? Once I can. I'm thinking if they can, it's more of like the older, the shamanistic ones that are able to. Mm, like indigenous people? No, like the older, of, if you look at the, the Jersey Devils, like the older ones that are more like in tune with who they are can probably do the shape shifting in order to protect the younger ones, if that makes sense. Yeah. That's kind of how my mind sees it, but I don't know. Maybe just some are just born with the ability. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I feel like they have the ability to shape shift into kind of many different types of earth based. Yeah. So for shits and giggles, let's just ask this. The people of New Jersey have majority of them, generally speaking, gone past a Jersey devil in another form and not, not even know it. Does that make sense? Does that question make sense? Like, is that how common this is that you might've walked past a dog or another? Well, I actually think it's, I think that it's like that with anything. I mean, how many people do we know that actually are reptilian and we didn't know it? I'm sure there's a reptilian in every damn school, not to scare parents or anything, but that's just my assumption. And we will say too, on that note, some reptilians are good as good. well. It's the soul's choice, what the soul's going to do. Some Draco are actually good and are actually working with the good guys. What was I asking again, Bryce? Um, have people of New Jersey, for the most part, been in, been in the same vicinity as one of these shape-shifting devils and not known it? Is that how common this is? I'm getting, yeah, they had no clue. It was like, they couldn't, yeah, probably no awareness. And I think it might disappoint them. I think they, <laughs> that's a card of disappointment. That Joe Schmo down the road is, wah, wah, is actually juicy. Let's ask this. So are, the, are there Jersey devils who shapeshift into humans and are working in the communities? <laughs> People in New Jersey. These are just cards. I know. Don't, why, don't these don't are go just harass cards. your, your fellow. <laughs> don't, go, don't go. Um, yeah, my weird neighbor. Must down be the street. A devil. No, this is just for shits and giggles. We're just trying to understand these interdimensional beings and, you know. Instead of judging see the them. audience, if they have like a next door neighbor who's like really hairy or something and has a little bit different features. Well, it says be like, a true, uh, like creature, face of a horse, head of a dog, wings, horns, and a tail. So, oh dear. Okay. Are some of these not Bigfoot stuff? These <laughs> 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 Jersey devils. Some of these Jersey devils. I like. See, this is what happens when you do a really crazy workout. You get the tickles. <laughs> I'm like slap happy right now. Well, it's kind of, I mean, I, I know like you're going to go, people in Jersey are going to like go to the grocery store and be like looking at everyone's suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> the old lady down the street, the milkman up the road, the postman, like 
I just really hope my family doesn't watch my channel. Okay. Can I just say they're really going to want to put me in the insane asylum? <laughs> Listen, this is fun for me. This is kind of the fun part. We, we, we do a lot of serious uh, uh, videos on this channel too about self healing, but this is part of the fun as well. You know, like, just to kind of figure out, I love folklore, I love legends, and that's how my channel started, is to try to figure out where these legends come from, where there's smoke, there has to be fire. I think they want to, but I think that they're unable to. I get the Three of Swords with the Seven of Wands. I think maybe their personalities might clash, and they actually have worry around mingling with... Well, probably because they smell bad, too. As a, as well, Lori not to mention... Let's face it. Okay, I was watching just for shits and giggles. You watched the the new Housewives of the New Jersey Housewives, whatever. I was watching on YouTube. I never do this ever. I normally watch like actually productive stuff on YouTube, and I was watching those Karen videos. Okay, and in the Northeast, we have lots of Karens. I, I look. I anybody who watches us and lives in the Northeast, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about literally people that just are just playing out rude and entitled, okay? White liberals. Yes, okay. So it's like the way I look at it, although there was one Karen that was very much um, Mr. T supporter in one of the videos and was following people for wearing one of these around the store oh, and they yes. made a freaking fool out of themselves. Oh, and I'm like, that. Yeah. you know, that's, that's wrong. But anyways, um, I'm like, well, the basic human who's like that, yeah, if I was Jersey Devil, Bigfoot, any of them, I'd be like, yeah, I'm going to stay in hibernation. <laughs> stay in the pylons. All right. <laughs> I kind of stayed to myself anyways to begin with, so. So let's kind of revisit what we know. We know that Jersey Pinelands is a portal. We know that Jersey Devil is absolutely real. Most likely the Jersey Devil is actually an off-worlder, an alien or extraterrestrial that's coming through this portal. Um, before we move on to the legend, we know they can shapeshift maybe into other earthling characters. Like a de it doesn't have to be human. It could be a deer. It could be a frog. It could be a dog. All the species of the earth. All right. So let before we move on to the legend, because then I want to talk about the, the the accepted narrative of how this came about. Um, the United States again made the reserve a biosphere in 1978, and it was the country's first natural national uh, national reserve. Did the country lay stakes to this area because of the Jersey Devil and because of the portal? Is that why? I don't think they were interested in the wetland life life sphere. No, I, I have. They always blamed the the um, the um, wildlife. Yeah, no, I ha I have a feeling they uh, boarded this area off because of the Jersey Devil, <laughs> because of the portal. And I just want to verify that with the cards again, take with a grain of salt, but just kind of see where we're going with this because it might. Well, they're definitely covering something up that they're doing. I think they're trying to make the portal negative and they're trying to escape or, or travel through the portal. Um, so it's more or less, I think they're trying to get through the Bigfoot. Now, oh my God, what is wrong with me, guys? The Jersey Devil. Yeah, the Devil. The Jersey Devil. devil too, so. Um, I cannot believe I said <laughs> Bigfoot again. They might have um, big feet. I don't know. I don't know what their feet look like. I feel like they're very similar. But I, I think, think that's, that's not normal to us humans. If we saw it, we'd freak out, right? So I think a lot of fear comes from like, but it does sound like, and, and maybe we can look back at Lori's email because it does sound like they do hunt a little bit, but maybe that is our own fear that we're feeling because we don't understand what this is because he did leave when she told him to leave. He I left. do feel like they're very tricky though. I do. I think, I think they're polarized positive, but I think they're tricky too. It's kind of like your sibling that likes to play tricks on you just for shits and giggles, but they're, they're a good person. Well, and with let's look back at the law of one to be polarized positive, you just have to be fifty one percent positive. So the rest can be uh, asshole. Forty nine percent of you can be a fucking asshole, you know, and scaring people to get your rocks off, um, and to still be considered positive. All right, so here's something: in 1938, the Jersey Devil was declared the state's only demon. So, 
why will the cards tell us why they made the Jersey devil a literal demon in 1938? They made a lot of things, demons that are really not. Yeah. Cause I have a feeling this was like propaganda fake news. Yeah. That's kind of what I'm intuitively picking up. There's, there's a few people in our history. I'm not going to say who that are demonized mm -hmm. and said they're totally evil and they really weren't. I could list a couple. I could too. Yep. My dog is trying to paw her way to the room. She's pissed at me. She's like, I'm the star. I'm the star. Yeah, she likes to be in our videos, doesn't she? Um, well, this is interesting. So... Yeah, they're, t they're definitely demonized, and it's because they want people to be afraid of them so that they don't go near them. It, it's more of a, it's, it's a propaganda tactic. Absolutely. Knight of Swords with the Eight of Wands, the Hermit, the Strength, the Magician, the High Priestess. All those cards scream to me, this is propaganda. Yeah. It's, not, right. what it, it's not what it seems. It's not what, it's, what, we're, what we're told. So let's talk about the legend of how this um, demon, the, the accepted narrative of how this Jersey devil came to be. And then I'm going to have to, with you, Stephanie, figure out a way to ask these questions, because again, I don't want to infringe on anybody's privacy or free will. All right. So in Estelleville, New Jersey in 1735, a woman named Deborah Leeds was due to give birth to her 13th child, not wanting the child. She cursed it, saying it would be the devil. And then after giving birth to the child, the baby changed to a devil and flew away. Now, some people say Deborah was a witch and the baby's father was the devil himself. So she kind of like a Rosemary's baby situation. Um, now, we do have um, evidence. There was a Jeff at Leeds, who was the husband of Deborah Leeds, who wrote a will in 1736 and included 12 children in his will. All right. They lived at Leeds Point, which is now in Atlantic County, New Jersey. And this there's multiple legends about the Jersey Devil, but this is the by far the most accepted story of how the Jersey Devil came to be. But a bit like the Salem Witch Trials, I think there's something else here. So, Stephanie, how can we ask questions regarding this folklore without in, in, infringing on the privacy and free will of the Leeds family? We can just ask if the theory is accurate or not. We're not channeling a particular person. We're okay. channeling the theory. We're channeling to see, and, and I'm channeling the highest of high, you know, uh, creator. Um, is this story, is this theory, this conspiracy theory accurate? I'm not asking about the birth. I'm not asking about the baby. I'm not asking about the father. I'm but just asking somewhat okay. true so this is so this so just so the audience knows this is i got two theories of thought now so since we know that the jersey devil we know from the cards the jersey devil is most likely an off-worlder an extraterrestrial and we do know that all of us on earth are, are um hodgepodge of all sorts of off-worlders so our ancestors did mate mate with other off-worlders to create us that could be a possible theory of how they came to this world that there were people mating with other humanoid species but i was kind of when we were talking about the pine lands and the portal i was kind of thinking more of like a shipwreck like a, 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 a not a shipwreck but um a flying saucer you know like a like a roswell new mexico situation that's kind of what i was getting when we were asking that yeah but so i don't even know if the deborah lead story is even real or not or if that was just something made up in order to give give um this it was made up. It was made up. Oh, absolutely. We have the Seven of Pentacles with the Seven of Swords. Um, let me get some more cards here. Yeah, it's with the King of Swords. So it's like what we were told. But with the Seven of Swords, it's there's no way. Yeah. So um, they're we absolutely more interdimensional. So it, do the lead, I don't know how to ask this 
when I, when we're now does the Leeds family because you know the Leeds family did exist their house is still there did they have anything to do with the Jersey Devil at all just in general or is there are they just a product of a smear campaign what I'm going to ask is where we lie to about the story behind the family. So I'm not infringing on their privacy. Because for all I know, there could still be leads in New Jersey and I just don't want to. Well, the devil card came right out. Seven of Swords, the Hermit. I don't need any more cards other than that. That is a big fat lie. So the whole yep. story is made up. With oh, yeah. Oh, so yeah. Can we ask um, why the story was made up? I think I know why, but can we ask the cards why? Why did the powers that be make up a story revolving around a family that did exist being responsible for it? Why did they make up all the stuff that they've made up in the past? I mean, to begin with. I know. It's all mind control. It is mind control. We, we saw it happen to Mr. T. I mean, there's been stuff I've heard about myself that's wild and crazy. You know, that's just, that's just the... Um, the nature of the beast. And actually I was telling Stephanie, I'm working on uh, the Emerald tablets, doing a series on the Emerald tablets. I've been studying a lot of the Emerald tablets and the Emerald tablets, even back from way back then says, don't gossip. Like don't talk about things about people that if you don't know if it's true or not, even in the Emerald tablets. So they're trying to shove a story to sleep. They're trying to push something down. It's trying to suppress information is what it is. So they're making it a silly folklore so that majority of people won't believe in the Jersey Devil. Yes, it's to, it's to, it's to pretty much keep you asleep. Oops. To keep everyone asleep. It's to take a step back, walk away from the original story. Um, yeah, it's 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 to hinder us it's to keep us asleep so can we ask when the farms are raided and their livestock is killed from these jersey devils is this done intentionally by the jersey devils or is this something else done and blamed on the jersey devil so it is them but they're not doing it maliciously i think they're in a they're in a trance right now that's what i'm getting they're literally in a trance um and I feel like they might actually be possibly, some of them might be MK Ultra. Like they're being put up to the task, not intentionally doing it. They're just being. So the government the judgment card and the hermit card, the five of swords, the, the seven of cups and the ace of wands. So the government. So like it's. Yeah. He's making up stories so people don't believe it, but then when they send the Jersey Devils out, they're mic to ca cause terror. Yeah. So it's like, it's like, let's say you get a celebrity. I'm not going to name names, okay? I'm thinking of one in particular. But I'm, I'm not going to say a name because I'm not going to infringe on the privacy. <coughs> and this, you get a celebrity, they, they grew up in this mind fuck. Okay, uh, they went through the process of being mind controlled, right? Deep down, they're polarized positive. They're a good person. Their their soul, not their body, their soul is is good. Um, but because they've been so, you know, mind scrambled, mind scrambled, a seven of cups. Really, they have absolutely no recollection of what they do. They um. It's, it's like um, having double amnesia, really. Um, yeah. So these um, things, that's what I'm getting. So we're not, they're not meaning to hurt humans. They don't want to hurt humans, but they're being used as a Yeah, they're, they're being hurt. used. We're I do feel like some of them, I do feel like they are guarding the portal, but I feel like there's been a battle between the powers that be and these beings. Is there going to be vindication for the Jersey Devil in the near future? Like humans. So 
people shouldn't be afraid of the Jersey devil. They should be afraid of the powers that be is basically with anything. Yeah. I think they're worse than the demons to begin with. I agree with that. It's going to take a little bit. We have a lot of worrisome cards here on their behalf. Like they're going to want to still isolate themselves. Um, they're going to feel very heartbroken when they do snap out of their mind scrambled controlness. You know what I mean? And there's going to be a lot of anxiety on their end and probably on, hu on human kinds end as well. Um, and it's not going to be a vindication that happens right away. But what I am getting is in the future, it will all work itself out with the Ten of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. And there's a lot of human beings I think are going to be in the same predicament that, I mean, we know there's truthers that got, that have handlers now who have been mind scrambled and probably don't know what they're doing right now. They're not within their cognitive control. And so I think that's going to be true for a lot of people. Um, not just off worlders that and we're, that's where we're going to have to have compassion and patience and forgiveness, you know, is because the cognitive, um, the cognitive control, these are high in our government. These are high level, uh, warlocks and witches for the dark side. Yeah. And they can do stuff that we're not aware of. And so, and that, and that, that way we should have some empathy. So if, um, if someone from New Jersey experiences the Jersey devil, what does source want them to do about it right now? Given this information, what source is it oh, good right question. Okay. to how to handle it? Cause it seemed like our friend, uh, Dolores, Lori, who said that email, she handled herself pretty well and she told it to go away and it did, it did, it did go away. Um, and I can't imagine that fear, especially as, as a, a parent, when you've got small children and you're responsible for protecting these children over something that you don't even understand yourself. So you want to be honest with it. You want to say um, something. You want to probably talk to it um, out loud and just tell your intentions because we have Ace of Swords right there. Um, I feel like they are the mother situation. That mother story, I think, is coming from the fact that they are. Might I'm, this might help Dolores understand? I feel like they're looking for a mother figure. I wonder if they have like a queen that they lost during their wreck coming into earth or something like that with the empress with the four of swords. So they're, go they're attracted to mothers. They want to be loved. They want to be loved. So um, yeah, it's at knight of pentacles. It's like, sh um, Oh, it, you might actually want to offer them maybe something to eat or drink or something like that. Start turning the way you kind of perceive it. Um, yeah, it definitely wants female energy because i mean the empress card is all about the mother the female energy um and it's probably going to be actually attracted to high vibrational females as well so like an older soul um that is a feminine that's a mom that's kind of what i'm getting it's attracted to if it's, it's going to find rest and um feeling of home and nurture um i feel like and it probably will also alleviate their confusion as well. That's it's kind sad. of sad. Yeah, that's really, really sad. Um, but I think a lot of us humans too, we've been without moms, a lot of us, and we understand what that feels like. So if you've been in that predicament, you come across this being, you can empathize with them even more. Is there anything that, I don't know how to ask this, is there anything that the Jersey devils want to tell humans? And that's not channeling for information, by the way. That's yeah. asking. It's asking. Sometimes I'll get a, um, a reading and somebody says, can you see if my grandmother has a message for me? It's not, I'm not getting information on the grandma. I'm getting a message from the grandma. You know what I mean? There's a, there's a major difference there. Yeah, there's a huge. This is what, what I've been prompted to ask that. What does the Jersey Devils collectively, generally speaking, want to tell humans? And they're... Holy shit. Hold on. I need to pull more cards. They are guarding something from coming out of the portal. They're blocking something from coming up. 
they mean us well. So I feel like it's like probably not all of them are mind scrambled. I feel like there's some very consciously aware, just like humans. Okay. And they're just like a bunch of kids running around. They're, they're very childlike. We have three pages in a row. That's very childlike. Mischievous. Yep. They're, like Dennis they're very like, mischievous. In a goofy kind of way, but they're trying to block. Do you have your pendulum board? No. Now I want to know what they're trying to block. So they're I'm actually getting a dark entity. They're yeah, trying they're to block. They're actually working with the white hats then. If they're trying to like, can we, is that okay to ask? Can we ask, are they working with the good guys to try to block this? Depends what I get on my cards. Let me see if I intuitively get that it's okay to um, say this. Okay. Yeah. We don't want to say anything that's going to screw anything up. This is bananas, though. I, I did not. I, I, we never know where these readings are going to go. Nope, not going to go there. Okay. Nope. We'll I was intuitively getting not to ask that question anyways, but the cards are also indicating. Confirm that for me. Okay, we'll leave it there. Because the thing is, we need to be, I, I'm very mindful when it comes to channeling anything that has to do with the White Hats because they have their own operations of what they do. That's none of our business because behind the scenes, they got to keep things very, very much Probably between five people at this exactly. point. Exactly. And we were actually talking about this before we hit record. And this is, I'm going to explain this to you guys too, to, so that we stop grabbing onto intel from these like gossip channels. Our thoughts put out vibrations, right? Our thoughts are not just some etherical blip in the, in our thought system. It's an actual energy. And so these dark witches and warlocks along with, along with the witches and the warlocks of the light know how to harness that. Does that make sense? So if a lot of people knew what was going to come, then the bad guy could easily get that information by just reading our thoughts, right? And so that's why a, such a small group of people only know because they know how to block that, whereas we're not 100% sure how to do that. So It's not um, an easy task to learn how to block that. I mean, I'm starting to learn a little bit how to block shit, but at the same time, it's, it's really difficult. Yeah. I mean, it's no easy task. And, you know, it's kind of like having a small group of friends, you know, to tell your deepest, darkest secret to rather than 20 people that you supposedly are like acquaintances, right? You don't so, want to spread. Yeah. And some people, like there are some people that you could tell this stuff to and they would keep it to themselves. They wouldn't say anything, but they don't know how to control the looking in yeah. and of, and of their thoughts. And so we have to understand that, that, and that's why um, I'm so excited that on this channel, all we're doing is doing our own research and certain events like the Jersey devil. We're going to be looking into the Emerald tablets, just stuff we need to know stuff. We need to be, be familiarizing ourselves with, and also working on ourselves through our own spiritual um, awakening, which is, um, and let's actually end on that, Stephanie, let's kind of derail it. Cause I was reading in the Emerald tablets today and I was telling you off camera that the Emerald tablets are very much, it's wild. Like all the stuff Stephanie and I've been saying, and he's been saying truth is in the Emerald tablets. And I was like, Stephanie, I, this is the first time I'm reading the Emerald tablets and we're literally doing like, it's like, we know this. So can we ask the cards? Will the timeline flip when human beings collectively start to work on themselves? Is that what we're waiting for? Is that what we're waiting for with the age of Aquarius? Is for people to work on themselves, like the Emerald Tablets tell you to do. Oh, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like calling back your power that was stolen from you. Okay. These are words and thoughts, the swords. So it's like, the King of Swords is like a DJT. Okay. Um, so, it, it, yeah, and this is like theft. So the power that was stolen from you, you need to work that out. And you need to start developing a better intuition. Yeah, that's... And the timeline is literally waiting. For us. For humanity. And we also need to raise our vibration with the... Uh, the love frequency. You cannot ascend without the love frequency. That is the highest frequency is love. Yeah. And that comes with forgiveness. And that's something I'm having to work because you guys know I got massively betrayed. And I'm having to work through that for coming from a place of forgiveness because that's the love frequency. Can I ask one last question about the Jersey Devil? Because it just hit me. 
we see Thoth here. We see um, that the Atlanteans, because Thoth was an Atlantean, um, we see that they have a lot of different physical attributes. Is the Jersey Devil, was the Jersey Devil around in Atlantean times? I think they worked with the Atlanteans. Yes. Ace of Cups. This is an old war, guys. This is the tail end of a really long battle. And I think that's the thing when we get deeper into Thoth and who Thoth was and who the Atlanteans were that spilled over into Egypt, we're going to start to understand how galactic this whole thing really is. So, um, and if there's a Jersey Devil watching right now, I don't know if you guys have iPhones or YouTube in the pine lands. I don't know. <laughs> But if you're watching right now, send us a Christmas card. <laughs> and Bigfoot too, since I mentioned you. Bigfoot. And I, I'm going to have to rewatch this and count how many times I accidentally said Bigfoot instead of the New Jersey Devil. So it took Can we ask one time. last question? Well, maybe what did you see in the yard, in your yard? That Was it a Jersey Devil or was it a Bigfoot? Is that why you're, are you hearing Bigfoot? Is that why you keep saying Bigfoot? It's because it was a Bigfoot. Did I have Bigfoot in my yard? I actually think it was evil. But. Oh. Well, we know Bigfoot's not evil. I think the Chupacabra is evil, though. I, I haven't looked too deeply into the Chupacabra, but... The what? Chupacabra. Okay. Now you're beyond me. We'll have to do another deep dive into the Chupacabra, too, then. Um, the name I, alone is like what the? Um, no, no. This was this was a nefarious thing. It wanted to start a fight. And you were like, "Listen, was like not today, not today, <laughs> Satan." Yeah, I, I, I kind of I felt the vibes of this thing, and it was needless to say, it wasn't just me being fearful because I. I just don't, I feel like if I were to come like, like face to face with Bigfoot, I might be scared at the first five seconds, but I feel like I'd be okay because you can feel the energy from these beings. This, this being that I did not see, I just heard the shriek out of him, her, whatever. It was definitely nefarious. And I know it was directed to scare me. I know specifically it wasn't even going after my dog. It was directed toward me and I could feel that energy. It's just like if you have ships above your head, you can feel the love that they are radiating down with their frequencies. So, I mean, just be, you know, to the audience, just be tuned into what you feel at the time when things happen. You have to really, really feel with your, your body and your soul and everything like that. That's in the Emerald Tablets, too. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Okay. This book, I've, I, this book goes over the third tablet alone because it's, according to the authors, the most important um, you actually do exercises in here pertaining to your gut intuition. Interesting. So, yeah, we'll be getting deeper into Thoth, guys, though, for sure. I'm still researching everything, trying to get my head around it. So, um, um, yeah. Is there anything you want to close with, Stephanie? Any questions you want to ask regarding the Jersey Devil or? I think do what? I, just, I want to know, you know what, one question. I want to know why I kept saying Bigfoot. Maybe you want to pull on this one. Do you want me to? I don't care. Go for it. Why? Let's, let's compare. Because I don't like pulling for myself because I suck at reading the cards for myself. Yeah. I, I have a literally time reading the cards. I suck myself. at reading the cards for myself. Why did I keep saying Bigfoot? You have some connection to Bigfoot. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> so I got the Justice card, which is the Libra card, which is you, with the Seven of Pentacles, with the Ace of Pentacles, which is offering an, an, an offering of a new beginning, working on something to balance something. Fool, again, this, this is like a new beginning. 
together completely. No, I'm not marrying Bigfoot for all those watching, okay? We could have a one night stand. I'm just kidding. Oh, here's the night of no! war. No, no. There's some karmic connection that you have with Bigfoot. You have some kind of karmic tie to it. Yeah, there's something I'm not remembering because I have the two of swords with the world card with the three of swords. So I must have witnessed something that I'm not quite remembering. Um, I think it's from a past existence though, to be honest. It could be. And then I have the nine of cups with the nine of pentacles with the 10 of wands. So it's definitely karmic connection. And it's like, but it's yeah, it has, I mean, look at these, the, the first card and the last card together. Yeah. Like there's something you feel like you need to do to bring maybe justice to your, con with your connection with Bigfoot. Hmm. Is, Bigfoot is Bigfoot connected to Atlantis? Oh, I think they all are. I think Atlantis is a mod podge of all beings, to be honest with you. I think that's why America is the melting pot. Yeah. Well, Egypt was the melting pot, too. But Egypt is in the United States. Yeah. that's uh, Yeah, exactly. Egypt is in the United States. That's my thoughts, exactly. And it's so interesting because I was reading a recording for the, Divine so the Return of the Divine of Sophia. I can't remember if it's for this week or next week. Um, where they read some of Thoth's material with Thoth, Thoth, Thoth predicted that the, the Egypt would be like rampaged and sacked and taken down. And when I was reading that, I was like, oh my God, he's talking about America. He's not talking about the Egypt we think is Egypt because a lot of that shit got moved over there. He's talking about this and, and that America's always been the melting pot, but so was Egypt because Egypt was the leftover inhabitants of Atlantis. So Egypt was never... People get so shocked that Cleopatra was Greek. And I'm like, but Egyptians were all racist because they were Atlanteans. Well, it's like this. So mirror everything they tell you to get your truth. So they said that a bunch of settlers came to America. No, everywhere around the world is from the melting pot expanding outward. Yeah. Yeah. It's the opposite of what they told you. Yeah. Everything's the opposite. So if you're like me, if you're a blonde haired, blue eyed, Nordic looking white person, and you have a tie to Egypt, it doesn't necessarily mean that one of your ancestors was black and lived in Egypt. It means that your ancestors probably were Atlantean. And that's what you're feeling because the Atlantean, the, the Thoth, I mean, Thoth was from Egypt, I mean, from Atlantis. And he came over after, when we, we talk about the flood story, Noah's Ark, it wasn't just Noah and his kids who survived. There were tons of people who went to high grounds and survived the flood, the flooding of Atlantis to then come into the new, the tribulation, which was the you new keep freezing by the way. Oh, okay. Um, Gabriel, Michael, I'm going to ask that you come in. I know the powers. I know, I know why they don't want me speaking. I know, I know I've been told why, because I speak truth <laughs> through my research. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, do your own research though, guys, because that is very much, uh, we're all, Atlantean. That's why we're here. That's why we're back is because we've done this before. And last time it fell to the negative polarity. That's why it fell. It's not going to happen this time. So we're all Egyptian. We're all Atlantean. White, black, blue. I mean, I still am thinking about, we need to do a show one day, Stephanie, of the blue people of Egypt, because I still cannot figure out what people don't talk about the blue people of Egypt. If you look at all these old paintings, even at the Lincoln Memorial, they're freaking blue people there. Who are these blue people? And why aren't we talking about them? I want blue skin. Do what? I want blue skin. Well, all the deities in the Hindu faith are blue. They have blue skin. I think blue would look good on me. <laughs> I want I want tie dye skin. Let's let's just make it a mod project colors. Like like Bob Ross had an accident, a happy little accident. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! I mean, what's? I mean, maybe we can do a deep dive into that one day and just figure out why there were blue people in all these Egyptian paintings. That teachers don't even talk about this in school. It's like they show you these Egyptian paintings and they just skim over the fact that there's a blue person there. So anyway, all right. Well, that was fun, guys. If you want to, that was fun. We'll do uh, next week. I think we're going to be talking about again about the Georgia werewolf. So we'll just kind of stick to this little like folklore and maybe um, if there's anybody watching, I think the chupacabra is big in Latin America. 
if that are the islands, maybe like Puerto Rico, that area. So if you're from that area and you know, or you've had an experience with the Chupacabra, just email me at esotericatlanta at gmail.com. If you have more stories about the Jared Jersey devil, thank you so much to Lori to sending in her story, send those stories in. And if you want us to read them on the, me to read them on the show, I will, because y'all, we are literally working through this shit show together. We're unta- what is it? Shakespeare said, Oh, the tangled webs we weave when first we practice to deceive. We've been so deceived about everything. So together we're taking all those cobwebs down and untangling them. So anyway, and if there's a Jersey devil watching right now, thank you for guarding that portal. Send her, send her a Mithra card. Send me a Christmas card. I want to see your babies. I want to see your babies. <laughs> so. Oh my God. All right, guys. Next time I'm in New Jersey, I'll stop by the Pine Lands and I'll say, hey. I'll come hey. Over. Hey. What up? So anyway, guys. Well, thank you so, so, so much. All of Stephanie's links will be down in the description box below, guys, especially for her bookings for her personal private readings, her courses, all that kind of stuff. Ooh. Ooh. Only a couple days left until signups close for my beginner star course. Um, because it is it's a locked in deal after um or a week before um the course starts it starts on the 29th so you have a couple days left i have four more spots left perfect i'll put that all down in the description guys uh box guys and tomorrow i'm going to be airing a show because this is going to be airing on thursday so tomorrow friday stephanie i will be back with emmy um thank you guys so much i've gotten so many just amazing emails from you guys um sharing your stories and and how much we were very vulnerable in our last episode we both all three of us spoke about our own struggles and i love you guys so much i've gotten so many emails from you guys talking about how much that meant to you and then sharing your stories with us and um what a powerful way that is to start healing and so with emmy and stephanie we're going to be talking more about the bundas and we're going to go back and look at the dosha system as well because i realized talking to emmy that with reiki practitioners the bundas aren't really spoken about and stephanie is doing eastern body western mind on her channel if you want to really start to get to understand the chakra system most amazing book i've picked up in a long ass time she does a good job explaining it doesn't she um holy crap this the if you want to heal yourself, it's only $13 on Amazon. And I link it in my description box on every single video I do on this. I'm only this far in and yeah. Imagine if they taught that to kids from a very early age. Oh my freaking word. I'll use this for my homeschooling. Thank you. Yeah, that's the it's amazing. I mean, that was your recommendation. So thank you so much. I'm like, I'm only on the root chakra and I've only gotten halfway through it. And I'm like, well, this explains a lot about myself. Like, holy crap. When I first, I first read that book in my early, or excuse me, my late twenties was the first time I read Eastern body, Western mind. And I remember getting to Moldar and being like, well, I got to start from the, I got to start from the beginning because I'm already screwed up. I see it. And the other thing too, is when I do the readings, I do a recording. So you're not seeing my face. I have it red the whole entire time on the thing so you are visualizing the red um because the the moladar is red and when i get to the sacral the orange solar plexus will be yellow so on and so forth so that it's it's help it's like almost like guided through the whole thing with visualizing that um so i do that purposely there's a method to my madness well, also, I find when you don't, because I used to do that with my readings too, people are commuting. It's a great thing to listen to when they're commuting yeah. to work and yeah. kind of start your day off kind of contemplating these things and contemplating um, how you're, because, and I, I want to say that too, like we said this, nobody in this world, no human being yeah. is perfectly balanced. If you're in a human body, you're going to have issues with at least one of your chakras at one point. It's never going to be, it's kind of like that two of pentacles, like a juggling act you're constantly doing. But as I said with Emmy and Stephanie last time, the minute you just start to become aware of the issues is when healing starts to happen. Right. Mm-hmm. So I don't want anybody to be overwhelmed. to think they're never yeah. going to heal themselves. We're, we're always going to be in a state of healing ourselves always. So, um, so just the fact that you're aware and you start to understand why your body is reacting to certain calling back your power yep on a on a more mystic mystery level i'm also doing this on my channel this is about plum island i'm also reading it on the dark outpost going forward 
So if you miss my channel or you want to go back and re-listen after listening to Dark Outpost, I'm doing it on both. So Perfect. this is a very interesting book. And I, it takes me a lot to get me into a book. It has to be very engaging because I'm like squirrel. You know, so these two books have me really engaged right now and everything. So, yeah. Um, and I'm also probably going to be covering Egyptian Book of the Dead. I just ordered it. So I'm going to be covering that. And we could probably do a deep dive on that one day, Bryce. We should. When you get the book and you read it, let me know. We'll do a deep dive into it because that's really important for, um, as I said on my last reading of this, she talks a lot about Moses and how what a scumbag Moses was and the truth behind it. And I think that that's going to help a lot of deprogramming from church control when people have to actually face the facts that Moses did not get the Ten Commandments from God. They were stolen from the Egyptian Book of the Dead. So then we have to go back and say, oh, the Egyptians obviously were not the bad guys we thought they were. And I think the Georgia Guidestones had something to do with Moses' Ten Commandments. There's, there was ten on there. And it was in stone. But it wasn't given by God. It was these guys in Alberton that chiseled them into them. Well, it was, it was what they call God. They I don't know. call the devil God. Yeah. They call the devil God. Yeah. Yeah. So. All right, guys. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Again, send me your emails for any stories you have regarding the Jersey Devil or the Chupacabra because we will be handling the Chupacabra later on. Um, Can I just say one more announcement? Send to my old group's email. I'm going to, I'll, I'll send it to you so I can link it in the description box. I want old Tartarian buildings in your own backyard. Put your name, just your first name, and what state it's from. You, If you want to put the town, I don't want to infringe on anybody's privacy, but you can put the town in a state. I'm going to make a whole slideshow. Slideshow, kind of like what I did with my trip down to see Bryce. Perfect. So, yeah. We're taking our power back. We're taking our history back. We're taking the truth back. All right, guys, we love you all. And we'll talk to you very, very soon. See you guys.